हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद वेरी अमेजिंग एसक्यूएल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ रियली गुड क्वेश्चन यू विल लर्न अ लॉट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज रिकर्सिव सीटीज यस इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ लॉट ऑफ फन दिस इज आल्सो अ लीड कोड हार्ड एसक्यूएल प्रॉब्लम 2494 एंड दिस हैज बीन आस्क्ड इन एन इंटरव्यू एज़ वेल इन अमेजन फॉर अ डेटा इंजीनियर पोजीशन ओके सो लेट्स क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम एंड देन वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व इट Also, for your convenience, I will put the create table and insert table statement in the description box. So take out from there, create your own table, and try this question out. Okay, so let's start the video and understand the problem. So here is the problem. We have only one table, hall events. So this first table is the input table, and this is my output table. Okay. So what the question is, we need to merge overlapping events in the same hall. So our table in our input table each row represents one event so this is a hall id 1 this is one event in that hall in this hall we have four events this is the start date and end date of each event so there are total four events and we have the start date and end date similarly for hall id 2 we have a start date and end date we have two events and for hall id 3 we have only one event now what we have to do is we have to merge overlapping events overlapping events means if there is any date overlapping between the events if any start date end date of a event is overlap bit with start date and end date of any other event within the same hall those are called overlapping events so in this example if you see the first and second events are overlapping right so this is ending on 14 and this is starting on 14 so 14 is the common date it means it is overlapping if we move on further to the third event this is also overlapping right so this is 15 17 right starting on 15 15 is between 14 and 17 which means this is also overlapping so these three events are overlapping if you look at the next event of the same hall id it is on 18th so it is not overlapping with any other event right so these three events are overlapping and should be merged into one event and the start date and end date will be the minimum start date of these three events together and the maximum end date of these three events together so minimum is 13 and ending on 17 so end date is 17 so i have merged these three rows because these are overlapping event this row is as it is it is not overlapping with any other row because we have to check within the same hall id now let's look at the log uh, hall id 2 Here, if you see these two events are overlapping. This is starting on ninth of December, ending on twenty three. This is starting on thirteenth. Thirteen is between nine and twenty three, right? So this is also overlapping. So the start date will be nine, end date will be twenty three. Minimum of start date, maximum of end date for the overlapping events. Now for hall ID three, we have only one event, so we don't care about it. Has to be as it is. There is no overlapping in a hall ID three because there is only one event. okay i hope the question is clear if you want to try it yourself i will encourage you do that and take the uh, uh, script from the description box i will move on to my solution okay and please like the videos it takes lot, lot of efforts to put these kind of videos and give you all the flavors of sql so please do like and share this video with your friends and do comment if you have a better solution okay so let's start on the solution so what i am going to do is I want to create a event ID. I don't have a event ID currently, right? So uh, if you see this hall ID one and there are multiple events, so I will create a event ID based on the start date first, and I will tell you how I am going to use it. So I will say select or let me keep it as it is. We have the output also in this in this window. Let me move on to the other window so that later we can verify that if it is right or wrong. Okay. So this is my hall events. so we have a start date and end date so i'm going to define a row number we'll call it as a event id row number over order by all id and a start date so i want to whatever consecutive events are there i want to give them consecutive event id as event underscore id and let me run this okay so this event got id 1 and then it is starting 2 3 4 then again this is 5 6 and then 7 
okay so this is my consecutive event id now what i'm going to do i'm going to do a loop kind of thing using recursive ct okay what i will do in that i will start from first row and check the next row okay if the start date of this row is falling into start between the start date and end date of this row right or vice versa right so when when we can say uh, the two events are overlapping either the start date of this event is falling in the between the start date end date of the next event or start date of next event is falling between start date and end date of previous event right in the in either of the case there is a overlap so for in this case if you see the 13 is not falling between this and this but 14 is falling between this and this so it means they are overlapping so either of the conditions should satisfy similarly if we look at this between these two 14 is falling between 15 and 17 no but is 15 falling between 14 and 17 yes so these are overlapping right similarly if we look at here is 9 falling between 13 and 17 no 9 is not falling but 13 is falling between 9 and 23 right so if either of the st start date is falling between start date and next date of other event the consecutive event then we will say these are overlapping okay so what i'm trying to do now i will create a flag in that flag the consecutive events will get the similar flag and i will keep increasing the flag so i will create a flag one until and unless i am getting the i am getting the uh, overlapping events i will keep it as one 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 the moment i see there is a next event which is not overlapping i will increase it by one so it will become two similarly so what will happen all the overlapping events will have same flag okay so i will show you how i am going to do it so i will say with ct i will make this as a ct okay and now i will do my recursive ct okay so in recursive ct what i am going to do how recursive ct is works is you have to have an anchor element okay if you don't know how how exactly recursive ct work i will tag a video okay you check that out first because in this i am not going to explain step by step recursive ct but i will give you some idea how recursive ct work okay so i will take the anchor element anchor element will be event id 1 so i will say select all id comma start date comma end date comma event id from from ct where event id equal to 1 okay so this is what i am going to do okay next what i will do i will say i will say union all okay here i am going to create a flag also which i was talking about so for the first row i will keep it as one one as flag okay now i will set flag accordingly i will show you okay now union all what i am going to do what i am going to do is i will say okay let's take the flag later i i'll just run a loop and later we will work on the flag so i will say i'll just copy this okay so i will say from ct now what is there in the rct in rct we have the first row right now i'm going to join this rct with ct so i will say r underscore ct inner join ct in ct i have all the rows in rct i have already the first row right so i will say inner join ct now first row is done now i want to work on the second row so i will say inner join ct on r underscore ct dot dot event id plus one equal to equal to ct dot event id right so if you look at it what i am doing is i am saying let me take this ct dot start date ct dot end date and ct dot event id okay. so what i am doing i am just joining these two tables rct has only the first row right and event 
the ct table has all the rows so i want only the second row now so event id was earlier 1 right 1 plus 1 2 so from ct the only the row 2 will come right and similarly for third row fourth row likewise it will come so if i run this select star from r underscore ct we will get the same result you see so this is my first row anchor element right this is how this is how recursive uh, ct works this is my first row for the second row second row i am again referring to r ct and joining it with ct on i am saying add one row to the previous event id and give that so one plus one will be two so one plus one will be two and that two will come from the ct now okay now this becomes the anchor element for the third iteration again we will go here and i will say two plus one three give me event id three so this is how it is happening right i hope this is clear now i'm going to set a flag okay so i will say one as flag okay so this is my flag for the first row now what i have to do if the next event is overlapping i i want to keep it as one only okay so that later i can group them so let's do this so this is my case when condition to set or unset the flag so i will say case when i will say case when ct dot all underscore id equal to r underscore ct dot all underscore id first condition is this right so if this condition is meeting then i will i will check if there is a overlap or not between this row and the next row for that what i have to check i have to check two condition either either ct dot start date that we discussed uh, uh, earlier right i will put end condition here so hall id should be same right and ct dot start date between r dot ct dot start date and r underscore ct dot end date right this is my first condition or if even if reverse is true that is also fine so i will say all r underscore ct dot start date between ct dot start date and ct dot end date right so if these conditions are matching if hall id of this row and hall id of previous row are same and there is a overlapping date right so i don't want to change the flag i want to keep the flag as it is so i will say then zero because i want to i don't want to change the flag else one and plus flag as flag okay so what i'm doing here is i'm saying uh i think this has gone some bracket issue we will see uh let me remove it for now. Okay, this is fine. So what I'm doing here, you look at carefully. I'm saying ct dot hall id equal to r underscore ct dot hall id, right? So that this row and next row, hall id should be same first of all, right? Second, the start date of this is between these two or start date of this between these two. Then I'm keeping flag as zero, right? If you look at it, these are two all condition, right? And this is with end condition. If this is then zero, else make one, right? And add with the flag, right? So flag, it will add with the flag, okay? Let me run this now and show you the output. And then we will understand how it is working. Okay, now if you see the flag is, these three events are overlapping. So if you see flag is one, 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 right? Why? Every time I'm checking if the whole ID of this row and the next row, this row and previous row is same and if they are overlapping then I am keeping flag as 0 and adding with the original value 1. So if, if it is overlapping it will keep it as 1. Again it will keep it as 1 because I am adding just 0. And the moment it sees that this is not overlapping it will add 1 in the flag. So this becomes 2. Now this, this is a new whole ID right. So the moment it comes here all IDs are not same. So it will automatically become 3 and the next row will also become 3. And last one 4. Okay. Now it is simple. What I need to do? I just need to say select all underscore ID comma flag 
comma minimum of start date as start date comma max of end date as end date to the by these two columns so if i do that i will get my answer if you see so we have four rows initially if we see we had the four rows in the output right 13 17 18 25 so first three events must and these are again for all id 2 both the events got must so we have 9 and 23 9 and 23 if you don't want flag in the output that is fine but remember you have to keep the flag in the group by because as per the flag we are grouping the things but it is okay if you don't want in the output we have two hall ids still uh, two rows for hall id 1 okay i hope this makes sense very important very tricky question let me know if you have a simpler solution and do like the video thanks for watching have a great great day